how are you doing today? I'm here with a different type of video. In this video I'm gonna disassemble and reassemble a Mavic 2 Pro and I'm doing this as a request for some people they want to do a maintenance, they want to clean up the air filters or you should do this every year or two depending how often you use your DJI Mavic 2 Pro. If you're using in a dusty place or landing in a dusty locations you might want to do this often. So let's get started. First thing first, you want to remove the battery by pushing these two clips. As you guys should know this already. So removing the battery first. Next, some people say it start on the screen from the top part. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to go to the main part where you're going to do your maintenance. So you're going to flip it down. You want to remove the cover for the lens, for the gimbal. We're going to remove the gimbal by removing this cover on the bottom. This is the first thing you want to remove, these two screws. If the screws have some kind of rubber in there, it prevents you from sticking your screwdriver right in there. Remove those uh, covers right there. Some of them they come just like this. You can just put a hot glue right on top later on. So, unscrew this two screw right here on the bottom. Make sure you keep the screws organized so you know where each goes. And to remove this one in, you can't just yank it out. You have to actually loosen it up and then pull each this side or the other side apart. So there's a tiny clip there. Once you got that clip loosened up, you can easily pull this one out too. Because you don't want to yank or break these two tiny clips. I think you guys can see it right there. Once you remove those, you're going to remove the gimbal. By removing the gimbal, you want to unhook this cable right here, this connector. This connector right here just lift up on the bottom side. Just gonna click up. Next you wanna remove these two screws right at the bottom. The ones are beside each other. Also we're gonna remove the two screws right under the gimbal. There's one right here. And the other one is once you remove that, now the gimbal will just come out easily. Just pull up from here and pull out. So this is your gimbal. If you want to replace your gimbal, this is as far as you go. You can go ahead and clean up this rubber shock absorbent right here. Alright, next we're gonna remove the six screws that holds this aluminum chassis at the bottom you do not need to remove your SD card reader if you want to go ahead all right once you remove those you want to lift the bottom cover towards your SD card lift it up tilt it towards your SD connector because there's a car uh, cable right there. You want to lift up this cable. Just like that. And there's an adhesive right under the cable. Right there. So, so down here you have your SD card reader and your LED. The LED only, this is the heat sink for the LED, not heat sink for your main board. So there's nothing from the main board touching this heat sink. And if you want to replace your SD card reader or sink bottom board, the model number is right there. There's only four screws, one, two, three, four, five screws holding it. So I already made a video of how to replace this board, how to remove it. I'll leave the link in the description. All right, next down here, we gotta remove a few connectors and rubbers. Again here, there are some plastic right on top of the each Wi-Fi connectors or antennas. 
you want to remove these plastics right here. This plastic prevents these cables from jumping out or popping open. So you can just melt some hot glue right over these ones. Next, we're going to remove the cables. We're not going to remove the cables for the sensors. If you only remove your sensors, you have a bad or damaged sensor. There's one cable right there, and for this one is right there to remove it. One is screw right there, second is screw on the other side. Same thing for this sensor. One is screw there, second one right there. And the cable disconnects from here. Just left out just like that. Okay, and you want to push back in, just push it there. Next, we're going to disconnect this cable right here. This is for GPS signal. So remove that one over there. Remove this cable on this side. And we're going to remove the Wi Fi cables or antenna cable, whatever you want to call it. Put them to one side and we're gonna remove the back cable. These are for the back three sensors, four sensors. Alright, next we're gonna remove a few screws. You're gonna remove this screw right here. And we're gonna remove the last two screws at the back. Once you remove these three screws, you want to go ahead and lift up the board easily from this side a little bit and a little bit from this side and make sure the cables are not on the way and go ahead and lift up completely just like that. So, as you can see, this is the board controller for the every motor that it comes in. Front motor, the right side, and the other one goes from the back side. If you want to go ahead and replace this one, now you do have to open the drone from the other side. So, I'll see if I can get into that one, but I'm doing this one for a maintenance purpose. So, for the cleaning, there's your fan, you want to just Grab some kind of air can and just clean this one. The heat sink is right in the middle. Clean the ducts right there and the duct right there. And now you can go ahead and clean up the filters on the side filters for your drone. And this is as far as I'll go for cleaning it. I would not want to. I don't recommend viewers again. Let's go ahead and thermal come and change the thermal paste. I'm not gonna change the thermal paste because the cooling for these ones are awesome. So this is the main board. So that's what I'm saying. The main board does not, uh, it's only cools down by its fan. It does not cool down by the heatsink on the bottom. The heatsink on the bottom is only purpose is for the LED lights. So once you clean up the whole heatsink and the fan, you want to grab the, your cables, make sure the cables are on the side. They're not bothering you. And you want to Pull down, actually it's the other way around. You gotta pull it down gently. You see? This is what I'm talking about. Make sure the cables are not underneath. Just lift it up, make sure it comes up. Okay. Push down, push down gently, keep your eyes on these three flex cables, 
what's in place. It's not fragile, so you don't have to be really, really careful. And what do you want to do? You want to put the screws in, the front end one. And put the back two end. Put the cable at the back for the sensors. Put the front sensor cables. And now we're gonna put down the antenna cable. You just push them down, straight down. All right, once you got it up to here, I'm gonna melt some silicone right on top of this one. You can do a cold silicone. All right, to apply the hot glue, so just grab a little bit of hot glue right there. Just like that, I'll put it on this one too. Don't worry about it. Hot glue will not damage it. It would actually protect it from any kind of any humidity or water protection, even a little bit. So, and it keeps the connectors in place, so it won't mid air. They don't just come out. If they come out, you don't have any connection between your drone and you. So just put fairly nice amount of the hot glue in there. It does not damage the board. Yeah, it's already cooled down. Grab your bottom board. Make sure it's on the side. Connect the cable right there. Once you have the cable, put it down from the side all the way down. Push it down. Make sure it aligns on the body. When it's aligned, just grab the bottom two screws. Alright, now you got, you're gonna put all the six screws on the bottom side. Do the last pass, make sure they're tight. Not too tight, you don't wanna break the plastic. Just enough. And once you got it in this position, you wanna grab the gimbal. You want to put the front end of the gimbal right down on the notch right there. And before you stick it all the way down, you want to keep it open this way. And you want to use your fingers to put the cable connected right now. So it's much easier to put it right now than later. Once you have it in there, just push it all the way down. And that's it. Now you're going to put the two screws at the bottom and the two screws right at the top if you guys have any questions just ask me in the comments and i'll try to answer them as soon as i can and i appreciate if you guys click that like button over there and now that we got the gimbal in place we can go ahead and Put this plastic cover to put this plastic cover you make sure that these clips go in first so put one side of the clips in and push it down and put the other ones in it should go in easy and then slide it towards the sensor and make sure it sits flash and put the last two screws and this is all about it this is how you clean up your drone and give you maintenance once in a while and i hope you guys really liked it if you like it click that thumbs up button and if you have any requests questions ask in the comments and thank you for watching guys and i'll see you guys in my next video there we go